to yourself, imagine warping space and time in such a way that you can cut a portal from your location in space and emerge in another location in space. In the deepest reaches of the universe, where the rules of physics behave strangely, and the very nature of reality hovers on the edge of the uncharted, humanity has recently made a profound discovery within a black hole that defies even our wildest imagination. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has unveiled a discovery so mind-boggling that it challenges the very essence of our understanding. But what could exist within the inky void where gravity becomes a merciless, all-consuming force? Could it be a gateway to another dimension, a cosmic wormhole leading to untold realms? Or perhaps, lurking within the shadows, is an entity of unimaginable power and malevolence. Join us as we embark on an intriguing journey to explore the recent discovery inside a black hole that is both astonishing and unsettling. Black holes are exceptional cosmic occurrences observed in space. They originate from a significant concentration of mass compressed into a remarkably compact region. This concentration generates an immensely powerful gravitational force, so strong that even light cannot break free from its influence. Once an object crosses the event horizon of a black hole, it becomes trapped indefinitely. These mysterious natural forces come in various sizes, including stellar black holes, which may have a mass only a few times that of our Sun, and supermassive black holes that reside at the cores of galaxies. These supermassive black holes can be millions or even billions of times more massive than our Sun. Scientists have spent many decades indirectly studying the effects of black holes. With each piece of data we collect, we uncover numerous secrets. Although black holes may seem incredibly massive and powerful, they have an origin story. They aren't randomly scattered in space, they come into existence through a specific process. According to the renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson, black holes are born from the remnants of massive stars that have exhausted all their nuclear fuel. These stars go through a dramatic event called a supernova, which marks the end of their life cycles. During a supernova, the outer layers of the star are explosively expelled into space, while the core undergoes a gravitational collapse. However, not all collapses are the same. If the core's mass is significantly greater than that of our Sun, the force of gravity becomes dominant, leading to the core's implosion. This implosion is so intense that it compresses the mass into an extraordinarily small volume, creating an object with an overwhelmingly powerful gravitational field. Nothing can escape this field giving rise to what we know as a black hole. The size of a black hole depends on how much stuff it has. There's a famous type called stellar black holes. These can be as small as a few times or even tens of times heavier than our sun. Inside a black hole, there's something called the singularity. It's a place where everything gets squished together and our normal rules about how things work don't make sense. Scientists are trying to understand this strange place better and they need some new ideas in physics to do it. Singularities show up in different places in physics. One is at the start of everything, called the Big Bang Singularity. It's where the universe began, but our current physics can't explain it properly. We need a new theory that combines our two best ideas about how things work, one called general relativity and the other quantum mechanics. Black holes also have singularities at their centers. These are spots where gravity goes crazy strong and space gets all twisted up. In normal physics, stuff that falls into a black hole gets squeezed into the singularity, which doesn't make sense. To understand these strange places better, scientists are looking at something called quantum gravity. This theory tries to bring together general relativity and quantum mechanics. It could help us understand singularities and how the universe works on both big and tiny scales. One idea in quantum gravity is loop quantum gravity. It says that space isn't smooth but made of tiny pieces, like building blocks. These pieces are so small that they stop stuff from getting infinitely squeezed, which is what happens in normal physics. For black holes, this means that when stuff falls in, it doesn't get crushed to infinity. Instead, it hits a point where it bounces back and starts to spread out again. This inside part of a black hole is sometimes called a quantum black hole or bounce region. It's different from the normal singularity and might solve some problems. For the Big Bang, loop quantum gravity suggests that there wasn't an infinitely dense point at the beginning. 
Instead, the universe started from a place where things weren't crazy, and this gives us a fresh way to think about how everything began and grew. But there's a problem. There are many types of black holes, and they don't all fit neatly into these theories. Scientists have seen lots of black holes in the universe. Stellar black holes are the most common. They happen when massive stars get so heavy that gravity makes them collapse. These black holes are tiny but super dense. Then there are intermediate mass black holes. These are bigger than stellar black holes, but not as big as the supermassive ones at the centers of galaxies. How they form is still a mystery. They might come from the merging of smaller black holes or from the collapse of huge gas clouds in the early universe. According to Tyson, while quantum gravity ideas like loop quantum gravity are exciting, they don't explain everything about black holes yet. He noted that scientists are still working on these puzzles to better understand our universe. Detecting intermediate mass black holes is quite tricky due to their mysterious nature and limited numbers. However, their existence has been indirectly inferred through various methods, like studying the movement of stars and gas near these potential black holes. Recent observations have provided some evidence for intermediate mass black holes in galactic centers, suggesting they might not be as rare as once thought. Supermassive black holes, the giants in the black hole family, have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our Sun. These colossal entities reside at the centers of most galaxies, including our Milky Way. They exert immense gravitational influence on their surroundings, shaping the evolution of galaxies. The formation of supermassive black holes is still not fully understood, but one leading theory suggests they develop from smaller black holes through a process called accretion. Matter, like gas, dust, and stars, accumulates around a black hole, forming a swirling disk called an accretion disk. The black hole's enormous gravity pulls material from this disk, causing it to spiral inward and merge with the black hole over vast amounts of time. This continuous influx of matter powers some of the universe's brightest phenomena. Apart from conventional black holes, there are charged black holes, which offer an intriguing variation. There are two primary types. Reissner Nordstrom and Kerr Newman black holes. Reissner Nordstrom black holes are charged but non rotating, while Kerr Newman black holes possess both charge and rotation. This combination introduces unique effects, including frame dragging, where the rotating black hole twists surrounding space time. Kerr Newman black holes feature both an event horizon and an inner region called the Cauchy horizon. This inner boundary distinguishes the exterior from the region housing the singularity. The properties of the Cauchy horizon depend on the black hole's charge and rotation, impacting the complex dynamics near the black hole's center. The behavior of the Cauchy horizon is tied to the cosmic censorship hypothesis in general relativity, which suggests that black hole singularities are always hidden behind event horizons, keeping their effects on the external universe concealed. Beyond these well-known black holes, there are unexplored frontiers in astrophysics, particularly in the realm of primordial black holes. These theoretical black holes could have formed shortly after the Big Bang, originating from regions with intense density fluctuations. Unlike stellar black holes, primordial black holes could have a wide range of masses, including tiny ones known as micro black holes. This diversity sets them apart from more familiar black hole types. A fascinating avenue of exploration in space science involves studying superfast spinning black holes, known as extreme black holes. These theoretical objects spin at their maximum possible rates, challenging our understanding of black hole physics. Regardless of the type of black hole, one concept that always comes up is dark matter. Dark matter is unique because it doesn't interact with light or other forms of radiation. Instead, we detect it through its gravitational effects on visible matter and the structure of the cosmos. It likely played a crucial role in forming galaxies and possibly even black holes. One theory suggests that dark matter acts as a scaffold for galaxies, helping gather ordinary matter like gas and dust, eventually leading to black hole formation. Another intriguing idea is that dark matter itself could be made up of primordial black holes. These black holes might have influenced the early universe, shaping the dynamics that led to more stars and galaxies. However, traditional black holes don't directly form from dark matter. They typically result from the gravitational collapse of massive stars. But spinning or charged black holes might have connections to dark matter, potentially offering insights into its nature and role in the universe's evolution. 
We study black holes meticulously using advanced tools like the Very Large Telescope in Chile, consisting of four telescopes with 8.2-meter mirrors. It has instruments for high-resolution imaging and spectroscopy. The Event Horizon Telescope, a global network of radio telescopes, captured the first image of a black hole's event horizon in 2019, providing visual proof of its existence. The Gravity Instrument, also at the VLT, studies black hole surroundings with exceptional detail. It observes accretion disks, jets, and gravitational interactions with nearby objects. The extremely large telescope, when completed, will be the world's largest optical and infrared telescope with a 39-meter mirror. It will provide unprecedented clarity for observing black hole dynamics and their relationships with galaxies. Astronomers use the study of star orbits around black holes to find out if there's dark matter around. When stars move in a galaxy, we can see if their paths are affected by something we can't see, like dark matter. Dark matter doesn't interact with light or other radiation, so we have to figure out if it's there by looking at how it affects nearby objects. One way to do this is by studying binary systems, where a black hole and a companion star interact through gravity. By watching how the companion star moves, astronomers can see if its orbit changes over time. If it changes differently than what we expect, it could mean there's extra mass from dark matter. Another method is to look at the time it takes for a star to go around a black hole. If it takes less time than we think it should, it might be because of extra mass from dark matter near the black hole. Astronomers also wonder if dark matter might be concentrated around black holes. They study how stars behave near black holes to understand dark matter's characteristics. When matter gets close to a black hole, its strong gravity pulls it in. This matter forms a swirling disk around the black hole before disappearing inside. It's like the matter gets trapped by the black hole's gravity. All these studies help us understand more about dark matter and how it interacts with black holes, even though we can't see dark matter directly. As we keep exploring black holes, we learn more about the mysteries of the universe. Tyson shared his thoughts on the fascinating ideas of wormholes and black holes, considering them as potential gateways to other universes. In a YouTube video from 2015, he explored the science behind these captivating concepts. Tyson described wormholes as theoretical structures that might connect distant points in space-time, creating shortcuts across the universe. While wormholes are still in the realm of theory, they have captured the imagination of scientists and science fiction enthusiasts alike. They hold the promise of faster-than-light travel and interstellar adventures. Turning to black holes, he discussed the possibility of them acting as portals to other realms. He explained that black holes are areas in space with incredibly strong gravitational forces. In certain theoretical models, they could serve as gateways to different parts of the universe. Discovering a wormhole within a black hole would revolutionize our understanding of space. It would imply the existence of a bridge connecting distant regions of the universe, challenging our conventional ideas about space and offering the potential for interstellar travel, access to other galaxies, or even different universes. Finding a wormhole within a black hole would add complexity to these already powerful cosmic objects. It would suggest that black holes not only possess immense gravitational forces, but also the ability to sustain and facilitate a wormhole. Such a discovery could provide valuable insights into the fundamental physics governing black holes and the nature of space-time itself. But the story goes even further. If the other end of a black hole's wormhole leads to another universe, it would support the concept of a multiverse, where numerous universes exist alongside our own. This idea has gained significant attention in popular culture recently. Confirming this scenario would deepen our understanding of this intriguing concept. Exploring these connections could provide valuable insights into the properties and characteristics of parallel universes, potentially revealing different physical laws and constants that govern them. This idea goes beyond the realm of astrophysics. It resonates with people's fascination for parallel worlds. Furthermore, the presence of traversable wormholes within black holes challenges our comprehension of time and causality. It raises the exciting possibility of not only traveling through space, but also moving through time itself, enabling journeys to the past or the future. Tyson isn't the sole explorer delving into the idea of time travel concerning black holes. There exist numerous theories proposing that black holes might potentially function as natural time machines. 
One captivating facet of this concept is the occurrence of time dilation, where the flow of time undergoes profound alterations due to the immense gravitational influence exerted by a black hole. In the vicinity of a black hole, time can either dramatically stretch or compress, resulting in significant variations in the pace at which time elapses in comparison to distant observers. For instance, spending just a year near a black hole could be equivalent to experiencing several decades or even centuries on Earth. This time, dilation phenomenon gives rise to the intriguing notion of time travel facilitated by black holes, as entering their powerful gravitational field might transport an individual into a different temporal reference frame. The profound curvature of space-time induced by black holes leads to captivating theoretical scenarios. It is conceivable that space and time become so profoundly distorted in the vicinity of a black hole that they fold back upon themselves, forming what is known as a closed time-like curve. This concept hints at the existence of a time loop, where it becomes theoretically possible to traverse a pathway leading back to one's past. However, this form of time travel presents unique challenges and uncertainties, constituting one of the most enigmatic varieties of time travel where the boundaries between the beginning and the end remain unclear. It is imperative to underscore that venturing beyond the event horizon, the point of no return in circling a black hole, carries severe consequences. The strong gravitational pull near the event horizon creates an increasingly steep gravitational potential, making it exceptionally challenging to escape the gravitational grasp of a black hole. It is hypothesized that the immense forces involved would probably result in extreme gravitational tidal forces that could tear apart any object that ventures too close. Even the black holes within our galaxy possess such extraordinary power. Now, let's break down the implications of all this for Earth. Could our planet be unexpectedly consumed by a black hole? Well, the answer is not straightforward. Black holes are incredibly dense and have an immensely powerful gravitational pull. While there are supermassive black holes scattered across our Milky Way galaxy, the likelihood of Earth directly falling into one is exceedingly low, at least for the foreseeable future. For Earth to be in significant danger, our own Sun would need to collapse into a black hole with a comparable mass. Even in such a scenario, it wouldn't pose a threat to our planet. The closest known black hole to Earth, V616 Mono Sirotis, is still quite distant and approximately 6.6 .6 times more massive than our Sun. Earth would need to approach it within about 800,000 kilometers to be torn apart by its gravitational forces. Such an event is highly improbable in our lifetime, making it more of a theoretical consideration. A more remote concern arises from the potential collision of our galaxy with another. In this hypothetical scenario, gravitational interactions could push Earth toward the center of the galaxy, where a supermassive black hole resides. However, there is no need to be alarmed. This collision isn't projected to happen for another 4 billion years, offering ample time for the natural evolution and fate of our planet to unfold. In the unlikely event that Earth did approach the event horizon of a black hole, the side of our planet closer to the black hole would experience significantly stronger gravitational forces than the far side. These tidal forces would ultimately lead to the destruction of our planet. However, from the perspective of those on Earth, the experience within the black hole's event horizon would initially appear unchanged, at least for a brief period. It's essential to understand that the likelihood of Earth directly encountering a black hole is exceedingly small. Even our galaxy's supermassive black hole, which is already millions of times more massive than the Sun, doesn't pose an immediate threat. Stars close to the black hole have likely already been consumed, while those farther away remain relatively safe from its gravitational influence. So, for now, Earth can be considered safe from such cosmic encounters. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.